Zoho Payroll is an online payroll software tailored for Indian businesses. With Zoho Payroll, you can add and manage employee details. You can get their loss of pay information from Zoho people. You can set up pay run approvals. You can run your payroll in few clicks. You can pay your employees directly from within the app with ICICI Bank integration. Employee pay slips will be automatically generated and sent across to them. Corresponding accounting entries are posted automatically within Zoho Books. On top of all this, Zoho Payroll provides an employee self-service portal for your employees where they can log in to see their salary slips, salary structure, they can add their investment proofs, download Form 16 and a lot more all from their smartphone. Let's create a new Zoho Payroll organization. Go to zoho.com slash payroll. Here, click on start a free trial. Enter the company name, email address, phone number, and then the password. Once done, click on sign up now. If you are an existing Zoho user, you can click on sign in and enter your Zoho credentials to create a new organization. Now, you'll be taken to the quick setup page. Here you can add the industry type, you can add your company address and if you have multiple work locations, you can add those locations later inside the application. If you have run your payroll for this fiscal year already and then moving to Zoho payroll, you have to choose this option so that Zoho payroll will collect the prior payroll information which will help Zoho payroll to calculate the taxes and other components accurately for this fiscal year. Once done, you can click on save and continue. Here in the tax information section, you can add the company span, TAN number, TDS or AO circle code, and the tax payment frequency. These tax details will be displayed in your employees form 16. Once done, click on save and continue. Here in the pay schedule section, you can specify how and when you pay your employees. Choose the work week or the working days in a week. And depends on your company, you can choose to pay your monthly salary based on the actual number of days in the month or you can choose the number of days manually here. You can decide when to pay your employees, whether the last working day or you can choose the specific day here. Please note that if the day falls on the non-working day, employees will be paid on the previous working day. You can choose the month from which you would like to start your payroll. You will see more details along with when the salaries will be paid for this particular month based on your previous inputs. Once this is done, click on save and continue. Here you can manage the statutory components. You can enable or disable the components which are applicable to your organization. Any organization with 20 or more employees must register for Employee Provident Fund Scheme a retirement benefit plan for all your salaried employees. Here, you can enter the EPF number and then the declaration cycle. You can check this box to include the employer's contribution in the CTC. In this case, it will be based on the actual salary of the employee or you can choose to restrict to rupees 15,000. Once done, click on enable. Similarly, you can enable employee state insurance. Organizations having 10 or more employees must register for employee state insurance. This scheme provides cash allowances and medical benefits for employees whose monthly salary is less than 21,000. Profession tax will be automatically enabled based on your company's location. You can choose to enable the labor welfare fund. Once done, click on continue. A salary comprises of several different earnings, deductions and reimbursement components. In this section, you can choose to add or disable the component which need to be displayed or added in your employee's salary. You can check the box to add the earning. You can click on it to change the name and other details. You can add a new earning just by clicking here. You can choose the type of earning and then choose what should be displayed in the payslip. Say for example, you choose holiday allowance and in the pay slips, you would like to show them as leave allowance. You can choose the pay type, whether it's fixed, which will be part of the employee CTC or variable, which is not a fixed amount and will not be part of your employee CTC. You can choose how to calculate, whether it's a flat amount or based on a percentage. 
You can enter the amount or percentage here and check this box to make this earning active and save it. Likewise, you can add multiple earnings. Under detections, you can add pre-tax and post-tax detections. Similarly, you can manage reimbursements. Here, I'm going to add an enable fuel reimbursement. Once done, you can click here to preview the payslip. This is a sample payslip to show how the components will be displayed. Zoho Payroll also offers multiple payslip designs which you can choose from. Once done, you can click on Finish Setup. Now, your Zoho Payroll organization is successfully created and you'll be taken to your organization. Let me take you through each and every tab inside Zoho Payroll application. As soon as you log in, you will be greeted with the home screen. Home gives you complete overview of all your payroll activities, starting with detection summary, employee summary, payroll cost summary graph, pending tasks, etc. The employees module in Zoho Payroll allows you to add and manage employees' personal and salary details, pay slips, assign detections to them, upload their IT declaration, and much more. You can add an employee manually, or if you have a list, you can import them. Or if you're using Zoho People, you can sync that organization and pull in the information automatically. Inside the Run Payroll tab, you can see the parents which need to be processed. When you click on a particular parent, you will be taken to this page which displays all the key information related to that parent, such as the payroll cost, net pay, payday, employee summary, and taxes and deductions. You can click on an employee to see more details on the right pane. You can sync the loss of pay information from Zoho People. If you wish, you can also add the LOP details manually. You can find the list of previously run payrolls here. Zoho Payroll has options where you can approve the reimbursement claims, proof of investments, and salary revisions. The reimbursement claim that your employees have submitted through their employee portal will be appearing here. You can configure reimbursement claim submission date under settings. Your employee can submit proof of investment that they disclosed in their IT declaration. You can view them here in this section and approve them. The salary revisions you made in the employees module will show up here. All salary revision changes has to go through an approval process to ensure perfect payroll and tax calculation for your employees. You can upload the Form 16 Part A zip file which has been downloaded from Traces Utility app. Zoho Payroll will then merge the Traces generated Form 16 Part A along with the system generated Part B file. Then your organization's tax detector can sign the document with the signer tool. You can also use Zoho Payroll Form 16 signer tool for Windows which is completely free. And then you can publish the Form 16. Your employees can then view and download the Form 16 from the employee portal. The Loans module in Zoho Payroll helps you manage all the loans or the advances that you provide to your employees. Click here to add a new loan. Here, choose the loan name. And click here to add a new loan. Here you can type in the name of the loan along with the prerequisite rate. You can then choose the employee and enter the loan amount. You can deduct repayments from employee salaries each month. Here, you can specify the installment amount. You can see the number of installments takes to repay this amount fully here. Zoho Payroll offers 15 plus reports starting from Payroll Summary, LOP Summary, Tax Detection Summary, Activity Logs, and a lot more. All these reports can be exported in multiple formats. Under Organization Profile, you can add your business logo, add or modify the organization details which you would have entered during the setup process. You can change your filing address which will be displayed in all the forms and pay stubs. All notification emails regarding your parents, taxes and form filing will be sent from this particular email address. If you wish, you can add a different email address. Here you can add and manage multiple work location details. You would have defined statutory components while creating the Zoho Payroll account. You can view more details here and if you wish, you can edit or disable them. You would have defined and added the list of components in the salary while creating the Zoho Payroll account. You can add more components here. You can also click on one to edit. 
Instead of manually entering the salary details for employees having the same salary structure, you can create a common salary template and assign them to an employee. You can click here to add a new salary template. Here you can add the list of components which you need from the left pane with a simple click and fill in the information. Now you can use this template while creating an employee. You can manage your tax details here. You can view more details regarding the pay schedule here. Please note that if you have already run your payroll in Zoho Payroll, then you will not be allowed to modify them. Here you can check this box which will allow your employees to submit the FBP declaration through the employee portal. You can specify the date here. You can also manage alerts which will be sent across to your employees. For reimbursement claims, you can specify the last date before which your employees need to submit their reimbursement claims. Similarly, you can enable income tax declaration and investment proofs which allows your employees to submit their IT declaration and POI via the employee portal. You can manage the date and alerts here. You can invite multiple users to your Zoho payroll account and you can assign them role-based access. You can customize the role to specify which module a person can access and what level of access they have. For example, if I uncheck the edit option, user to whom this role is assigned will not be allowed to edit the employee details. Now, while inviting the user, you can assign the role. You can manage the email content in the email, which will be sent when you invite a user or an employee. Zoho Payroll offers multiple payslip templates which you can choose. You can preview them and mark them as default. You can seamlessly integrate your Zoho Payroll organization with Zoho People. This integration helps you to push the employee details and the loss of pay information from Zoho People to Zoho Payroll to process the monthly payments inside Zoho Payroll. The wages you pay and the taxes you deposit need to be kept track of using an accounting software. Here, you can connect your Zoho Books account with your Zoho Payroll account. Once done, all your payroll transactions will be synced with your books and the entries will be automatically posted. Zoho Payroll is presently integrated with ICICI Bank. With this integration, you can transfer salaries directly to your employee's bank account. If you have any questions with Zoho Payroll, you can click on this question mark icon and refer our extensive user guide. You can click here to contact us. You can send us your query or schedule a demo or request us to call you. Do let us know if you have any other questions. Thank you.